I'm not the type of person who wakes up thinking, God, I love a good challenge, especially at 1.42 in the morning. Yet, some things are monumental and majestic in certain countries that you feel like you're forced to do while you're there. If you don't do it, then you've not experienced everything that country has to offer. Take Japan. It's home to Mount Fuji. It's a volcano, and it's the nation's highest peak, almost 4,000 meters right up to the sky. There she is, folks. Let's start this climb and get it over with for crying out loud. Here I am, starting the climb. Let's see if I make it, huh? Who knows? Unbelievable, and that's just the, uh, pretty much the fifth station. We're going up to the eighth station, all the way to the top, so. <sighs> we'll see how things go. At 5 a.m., I was a little chilly. However, the higher I went up, the brighter the sun was shining and the hotter I got, even though I was told how frigid, how crisp the yeah, air would be. I mean, look at me. I'm a hot mess. And yes, Actually that's sweating. an old black sock I'm using to wipe away my sweat. I was not worried about rain or nasty weather one bit, even though I was given explicit instructions to bring at the very least a raincoat. I was not going to wear this expensive thing and ruin it. I'll be fine. I'm from upstate New York. We're all a little smarter than the average bear. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's time to, uh, time to get going back up there again. Oh, shit. Ooh, I almost forgot. Before you start your climb, be sure to grab your souvenir hiking stick. While you go up, they'll stamp it for you at rest stations. Now, uh, don't ask me how these workers get up there. I imagine they stay for weeks on and working. Can you imagine making the climb for work every day? I certainly can't. It's, uh, it's gotten a lot cooler so far. I'm still sweating a little bit, but it's cooler. But, uh... Yeah, hopefully I can do this two hours into it, about 7 o'clock in the morning now. Hopefully I can, uh, hopefully I can finish this and everyone else that came today, hopefully they can finish it too. We're at 30, 32.50 right now, got about 500 more meters to go. Good time. My web blog. Here we are, just about to get to the top. Now after all that complaining and climbing, what does the top of Fuji look like? Well, take a look for yourself. Yup, the words worth and while escaped me at that moment. It was five hours of pure toil. You'd think climbing up Fuji would be the worst part of the trip, right? Wrong. Climbing down was the absolute pits. You think it'll fly by because you are in fact going down. Nope, it dragged on and on and I had to put my camera away because some mini apocalypse of hail, rain, thunder and falling rocks decided to descend upon the entire site. Yeah, here's the top, but uh, thunder and lightning, gotta head back. I kinda wish I did actually get that raincoat. I was soaked to the bone, exhausted, but I felt accomplished. All in all, was the trip worth it? You bet, I can say I did it. Would I do it again? No way in hell. Now, as Danny mentioned in the previous video, I was indeed due to leave Japan. You about to leave, you're about to leave in a month. I'm wasted. With that in mind, I knew there was one place I had to visit and pay my respects before going back to the U.S. Hiroshima. <laughs> 